we're not happy if we're not pushing that bar every single day. Hi, I'm Dave Wagler. I'm one of the owners here at Green Acre Farms outside New Hamburg. We're milking 165 cows here with four Laley robots. Uh, we retrofitted the barn for those about 18 months ago. It's always been a goal of mine to have constant improvement in every area of our farm. And I think it's more important now than ever for businesses and particularly farms to push the bar, to, to be more efficient, to be more profitable, to get the most out of your animals. We're, we're, our barn is full right now in stalls and I don't really want to milk more cows, but I want more milk per cow. I want more fat per cow. I want animals that require less work and less maintenance. And Every year you need to look at your data and see how that bar has grown and, and move those animals along and, and make sure that you don't have anybody in your barn that's taken up a stall that they shouldn't be. Stalls have become our limited resource and we need to maximize those with highly profitable, efficient animals. A profitable cow for us is a trouble-free animal that has an aggressive nature to go to the robot on her own. She's a, a high component cow with particularly high butter fat. Uh, she's a problem free cow that moves throughout the barn easily, strong on her feet and legs with a well attached udder and, and is visually appealing. But uh, you can tell she's going to last a long time in your barn. She breeds back easily. Uh, she's a cow that you sometimes forget about because you don't have to spend any extra time with her. Uh, we've always used a mating program through CMEX and in 2018 we started doing Elevate genomic testing. We were interested in adding an A2A2 element to our herd and that was the most logical way to find the base and the cows had already uh, tested positive for that. I'm certainly glad we made the choice to start using Elevate. I look forward to getting my reports back and seeing uh, the numbers on the calves and it's exciting when you see the genetic progress on paper and it, it's hard sometimes to wait, you know, two, two years to get that animal producing milk. Test your patience for two years, but it reassures you that you're moving in the right direction. Your genetic goals are, are being reached, you can tell already as calves and uh, it adds excitement to your job and everybody needs that every once in a while. We have a short term goal of, of reaching two kilos uh, of butter fat per cow in the tank and we're really close to getting that and then the challenge will be obviously maintaining that. I've been very fortunate in my farming career to work with a lot of great staff uh, from GenCore to, to now at EastGen. Particularly, uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity and still working with Pete Kaufman. Uh, I think we push each other in, in sire selection. Uh, we both know what the herd needs. He certainly understands what I want and what my goals are, so we're able to work together to make sure we're using the best bulls for this herd that bring all of our genetic improvement goals into one. Uh, a lot of our genetic success can be, can be attributed to him and, and the relationship that me and him have. My grandpa used to always ask me how many 100 pounders we have, like how many cows milking 100 pounds. And that was probably about 15 years ago and I'd tell him and he was impressed. And now you have two year olds that are doing over 120 pounds a day. And there's been times where our herd average has been 100 pounds. And, when it gets over that or stays at that as a consistent basis, that I think he'd be pretty impressed with that. I'm excited for the new things I'm going to learn management-wise, and I'm excited to see what these animals are going to do in the future. <laughs>